Somehow, some way, a team coming off a winless year have officially become the darlings of the NFL offseason, and now they've got a QB controversy to boot. Top pick Baker Mayfield continued to shine in the final tune-up game against the Lions, and there's talk that there's no good reason for him not to start week one. Also, those impressions he's been doing in the offseason are hilarious. Watch them. Mina, you were the president of the Tyrod Taylor Appreciation Society. Should the Browns' QB decision be as easy as it is for Taylor? No, I'm a fan of Taylor's game, but I'm not a fan of how Hugh Jackson handled this, declaring him the starter, not letting there be a competition. Look, Baker Mayfield has played well in the preseason, but he has not played with starters. He only did for a little bit. He struggled, as any rookie would, in limited action when Taylor was briefly injured. We don't know if he's better than Taylor. We don't know if Taylor's better than him because there hasn't been a good faith competition competition and now they're stuck with the decision they got to go with Taylor but I'm telling you weeks one and two they've got the Steelers and the Saints if they lose the cries to put in Mayfield are going to be deafening KB explain to me why Hugh Jackson is doing this well he's doing it because a year ago he seemed not to have a plan at all when he went into the season with like three quarterbacks and wound up with uh, with uh, Kaiser and how that Kaiser thing um, melted down at the end they couldn't get along it was just a grand mess so the one thing I think he needs to do right now is to make a decision and pick a quarterback. If it's Mayfield, fine, go with it. If it's Taylor, maybe even better because then you can bring along Mayfield a little bit slower because Tyrod Taylor's had success in his league. He's still a young guy. He's got something to prove, and I think that might be that might be the way that I would lean. But the main thing for you, Jackson, is in his situation with his record, with that team and its record, just make a decision and stick with it. J.A. Baker Mayfield's a fun guy. I'd want to see him play if I were in Cleveland. What about you? Yeah, I might actually watch some Browns game if that were the case. And, and Kevin, I think Hugh Jackson needs to ignore his record and not worry about trying to rack up some victories this year to maybe try to get his, his, his career record in, in Cleveland a step or two closer to 500. We know that's a big task ahead of him, but he shouldn't worry about that. He should worry about the long-term prospects for this team. And if they draft a Baker Mayfield to be this quarterback of the future, the franchise player of the future, why not? commence with the future right now. Woodrow, you know more about the NFL than anybody here. Tell me what I don't know. Sure. Well, unlike me now, I know what a sandwich looks like, and I know what a starting quarterback looks like, and that's Baker Mayfield, and he should be the starter. If Hugh Jackson is so worried about his future, he's got a contract until 2021. So if they fire him, which is going to probably happen anyway, he's going to get paid off. He'll negotiate. He'll get another job in the league as an assistant coach. But you got to start the guy that's going to entertain Cleveland, is going to give them hope for the future, and is going to do as well as Taylor would do there. They're putting together a pretty good team but not for the present but for the future and let's cite this in 22 possessions during the exhibition games uh, Baker Mayfield led his team to scores seven times I think any team in the NFL would take a quarterback who gets scores 33 percent of the time when you're on the field it doesn't happen normally Mina that's meat what do you got that's fired uh we know what Baker Mayfield looks like against backups, Woody, okay? And he looked great, right? But we don't know what he looks like as a starter because, like I said, he was not given the opportunity to establish himself Let's as a starter. And I wish he was given that opportunity, but he wasn't. We only have the information we've been given. And at this point, we don't have a clear idea of how he would perform in the NFL against ones. J.A., quickly, what do you think has to happen to see Mayfield start this season? Browns have to lose a few games, which will happen. You can be sure of that. So, it should be starting by Halloween.